Dubai's culture is different than what we're used to in the Western world. When I was there, I was amazed at how progressive things seemed to be. Thinking back on it, I think law enforcement was being pretty lenient with us tourists. If they would have been following the rules to the letter, a lot of us could have gotten into big trouble. So today on Passport Kings, I'm going to list the cultural rules that you should abide by on your visit to Dubai. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first in to know when I upload new content. The people in Dubai are very friendly. They look forward to you striking up a conversation with them and they love to show you around their country. They're very proud of the overwhelming metropolis masterpiece that their government has built for them out in the middle of the desert. Yet, some tourists have a hard time adapting to new rules or are too self-centered to be bothered by the restrictions that the locals find as normal. There are so many rules that I will break this list up into two videos. So after you watch this one, be sure to click on the link at the end to watch part two as soon as it goes up. You will thoroughly enjoy Dubai, but here are some very important things to keep in mind. You've officially been warned. Walking around in swimwear is okay when you're at the pool and the beach, but if you're just walking down a normal street, it is considered disrespectful and could get you into a lot of trouble. Women are expected to dress modestly in public with their arms and legs fully covered. When you visit the mall, the dress code will be announced over the loudspeakers. But when I was there, I did see some women who were obviously tourists pushing these rules to the limit. They had on super short shorts and damn near bikini tops in the hotel lobby. I wish I could follow them around all day to see what, if anything, would happen to them. But I'm sure following them around would have probably got me labeled as a creep. So I wasn't able to finish doing that research. For the most part, they seem to have been left alone. But there are stories. Like 10 years earlier, 79 people were arrested for how they were dressed in Dubai. There was a crackdown right in front of the beach. And it didn't stop with the women. In 2008, police arrested 40 cross-dressing dudes who thought it would be funny to dress like women in a Muslim country? Number nine, don't lose your temper. Cussing or waving your hands around in the air like you're about to fight someone is greatly frowned upon. Getting bumped while walking may piss you off in other cities, but here, you're just gonna have to suck it up. The good thing about Dubai is the residents are peaceful and respectful to each other and the tourists. No one is gonna bump you on purpose or try to start a conflict with you. And a few of the residents that I met were willing to go all the way out of the way to be helpful. Number eight, no public displays of affection. You'll probably be okay holding hands while walking down the street with your significant other, but going further would not be taken as lightly as it would be taken here in the US. For instance, you don't wanna be walking down the street holding your woman's ass or pinned up against the wall for a long, passionate kiss. I mean, many people in the US don't wanna see that, but it certainly will offend the people of Dubai. Back in 2005, a UK couple received one month jail sentence for kissing in a restaurant after a local woman complained. They consider public displays of affection as inappropriate behavior. Number seven, sex without marriage is against the law. Even staying at the same hotel room as someone of the opposite sex that you aren't married to, unless it's a parent or a child, could result in your arrest. By law, only married couples are allowed to have sex or share the bed. Most times, hotels won't ask you for proof of your relationship when you check in with your partner, but it's best to be careful. If the cops find out, you could get into trouble. In 2004, there was a story about a chick getting into a lot of trouble when she tried to bring some dude back to her hotel room from the bar. The cops caught wind of it, and she wound up missing her flight home, even though she was let out a little bit after. Now make sure you stay to the end of this video so you can pick up my free ebook on how to make money online in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. Now have you ever been to Dubai? Or even Abu Dhabi? Were all the rules too restrictive for your enjoyment? In the comment section below, tell me about it. I love reading those and I will definitely respond. Number six, don't take photographs of government buildings. Normal tourist photography is fine but avoid photographing like the Sheik's Palace, ports, 
airports, police stations, and military buildings. The mentality behind these rules are hard for me to understand, but it's their country and I'm just a guest, so I'll do whatever's recommended. I really don't see many cops running around checking for these behaviors, but I prefer not to be the one that they make an example of. Number five, don't drink and drive. Well, you should know not to do this in the first place. In America, you can barely stay on the road when you're drunk, but driving around a completely new city drunk is just dumb. If in case you are involved in an accident and there's the smallest amount of alcohol in your blood, you will get locked up immediately. I'm not sure how long sentences usually are, but they're really strict about alcohol in Dubai. It was really hard to even get some if you don't get it from duty free in the airport. Number four, don't take drugs. Using drugs, escorting some into the country, or even hanging out with a friend who's taking an illegal substance is a big no-no. It could get you hemmed up. You'd also be a fool to buy some illegal drugs from some random Arabian drug dealer on the streets. And in that same vein, importing porn, pork, and drugs can get you into serious trouble. Even though I did see pork in the grocery store, which was pretty confusing to me. <laughs> In 2007, some Japanese dude got arrested in the airport when customs found 77 pornographic DVDs in his luggage. The same year, the popular drum and bass artist from the United Kingdom, Groove Rider, was sentenced to four years in prison for having a few forgotten grams of weed in his back pocket. He eventually did receive a special pardon, but he had to do some time there. In 2014, a 16-year-old Indian kid was arrested for carrying a half a kilo of poppy seeds. They were actually for his mom's special recipe, but everyone knows that poppy seeds has opiates in them. I guess the kid didn't realize it. Number three, don't eat or drink in public during Ramadan. In 2020, April 23rd until May 23rd is Ramadan in Dubai. The residents will be fasting. The holy month of Ramadan bans eating or drinking in public before sundown. So either eat in your hotel room or go to one of the restaurants who realizes this is a problem for tourists and stay open during the month. To accommodate the fasters and hungry tourists, they will close all the blinds on a the window. They will also let you know about the etiquette that's expected because it's forbidden to eat during daylight hours during Ramadan. I mean, can you imagine them starving all day and then they see some American walking by with a big old Universal Studios turkey leg? You'll most likely be fine if you're eating at your hotel room, but my best advice is to find out when Ramadan is in Dubai and don't book your trip during that month, unless it's for research purposes only. Number two, don't accept the first price, haggle. The prices that you'll see at the little vendors is the starting price. Your best bet is to start out with a price that is way lower than what you were willing to spend. Then start haggling. Store salesmen expect it. They will actually enjoy the challenge and your attempts to lower the price. There are many years of tradition behind the art of bargaining for a price, and it's just part of their culture. Don't think that it makes you look cheap. Just realize that it makes you have a much more authentic experience in Dubai. Number one, don't be gay. Or if you can't help it, just make sure you don't tell everybody that you're gay. As I said before, Dubai's police are not scowling the streets searching for gay tourists to arrest. And with my own eyes, I saw a gay couple walking down the street holding hands. I thought to myself, this is not going to be good. But then, nothing happened. It seems like no one else even paid the two dudes any mind. Gay sex is illegal in Dubai. I didn't expect cops to be running up in gay people's hotel rooms and dragging them out into the streets to beat them. But I was sure that gaydom would be hidden as much as possible. But there are rumors that there's a super gay community in Dubai. At least that's what one activist member was infamously heard yelling as he was being tossed in the back of a Ferrari police car. <laughs> well, that's my end of part one of Don't Get Caught Slipping in Dubai. Remember, you can donate to Passport Kings by clicking the PayPal button on my homepage banner. Now, I hope these rules don't scare you off from visiting this place. I had a really good time, and you can see the video that I made about my visit to Dubai in the link above. I can't wait to go back. And the best part about this trip is I was able to pay for it using profits that I've made from becoming an independent travel agent. Using a combination of planet marketing and IntelliTravel is the best way I've found to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love, traveling. Join me and you'll be able to work in any location in the world, part-time or full-time, just using your laptop and cell phone. There is no experience necessary. 
All of the training is provided by wonderful people who already have had amazing results helping families financially in the travel industry. If you love to travel, trust me, this will be a no-brainer. Watch the two videos at www.passportkings.com. And if you just want my agency to help you book a trip to one of these laps of luxury, click book travel on that page. You can also get my free book called Make Money Online so you can travel more on the right side of that same page. Do remember that Dubai is an Islamic country with a very tolerant version of Sharia law. Be respectful of this and you'll have a much better stay and be more likely to meet the locals and explore the heart of Dubai. Insulting the citizens with your bad behavior could have serious consequences, fines or jail. But also keep in mind that about 10 million people traveled to Dubai last year and there was no problem at all. All you really gotta do is say to yourself, I'm not gonna be a prick and disrespect these people's religions or culture while I'm in their beautiful country. Because you know you wouldn't want someone from another country to come to America and open up their lunch and start eating a chihuahua sandwich. Show some respect and you will get respect. Like a king of Passport King. Peace.